Hello everyone, I'm Mami at New Tips Piano Series. This is the continuation of the Appassionata episode and we're going to focus on the second movement today. In part one, which was the last video, we talked about the general interpretation of this work and we stressed the importance of having the strong sense of rhythm to get to the essence of this music. Oh, hello. This is my twin sister, Mamu. Do sit there. Let me just finish this. On my channel, I talk about the piano technique, such as tips for small hands, how to pedal for a bigger sound, memorization. If you liked my videos, if you've found them useful, please subscribe to my channel. So playing in time can be more difficult when the piece is slow. I know the second movement of the Appassionata is not particularly slow, but it can be hard to measure exactly when to place the next chord when you appear to have an empty space between each beat. So what I'm going to do is kind of internalizing the rhythm as I play, listening to the vibrating sound between the chords. And I thought Mamo can help me do this. Yes, you're going to do the vibrating on top because it's hard for me to do this while I play. I think you got the idea. You know how Mamu was going like this with me? The secret to playing in time is to hear the subdivisions. I don't mean play mechanically in time, but allow for the natural ebb and flow, hearing crescendo and diminuendo between the chords, and always play the next note according to the continuation of this underlying subdivision. It's lovely to hear the subdivisions. It's like being surrounded by angels. And you know what happens to the rest of the second movement of the Appassionata? Beethoven progressively presents the underpinning subdivisions. It's as though, as you go higher up on the keyboard, the atmosphere becomes more transparent, gradually revealing the things that we couldn't see before, but have always existed between the notes. We begin to see the platonic meta-reality. Here is a practical tip you can try at home. Make a clone of yourself, let it keep in time for you, vibrating at the top of the piano. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please help spread words, telling your friends, sharing on social media. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Have a good practice. Bye!